sunrise over Bangkok. Very hazy, that's for sure. Well, today is January the 10th, 2024. And we are going to leave Bangkok today and heading back to Ho Chi Minh City. Very, very excited. However, Vietnam Airlines, which we're traveling on, has had trouble checking us in online. Well, I was able to finally find a seat for Jenny so she can check online, but I'm still not able to. It's very, very annoying. I tried throughout the night and I just couldn't do it. So Vietnam Airlines need to get the act together. Very annoying to not be able to check in online and they keep saying that there's no seats available. So, hmm. We'll see at the airport if that's a problem. Heading down for breakfast and then eight o'clock, book the car, four of us are gonna go out to the airport. We are on our way riding in the traffic of Bangkok going to the airport. Looks looks pretty crowded but I believe it will open up once we get on the highway. Lots of big motorbike here unlike Saigon where they're almost all scooters. Bye Bangkok, we'll see you again in March. We are riding into the sunrise here. Traffic looks good so we should, because we are riding out of the city I guess. So we should be there in no time. Probably take about 30 35 minutes to go from downtown to the airport. Nice. Of course, on the other side, there's lots of traffic coming into the city. I'm glad I'm on our side. This big turn with red painting on the ground, you know that you are almost there, and uh, we are just two minutes away. So we made it in good time. And I was able to get a seat on Vietnam Airlines, so we are set, ready to go. Lots of time. Hazy today, but we are here. And, uh, let's see some a lot of planes on the tarmac. Okay, so we are at the departure and uh, got two giant statues here, pretty cool. This is Mang Korak Khan, big imposing figure, he's green and then you got uh, one that is kind of a pink, let's see what his name is. His name is Mayarap, another imposing figure with big weapons, nice. We are in super efficient exit procedure, automated gates and everything took about two minutes. And now we are in 
Well, this is where everybody want to take pictures. Pretty cool. Now this is a purple guy and uh, with dragons and tug of war it seems like. And I think that's like the head there with the multi head dragon. And of course you got your Louis Vuitton and Gucci and Bulgari, Chanel, Cartier, everything here. So time to do some shopping, perhaps we will see. Our gate is F1, but we have about, oh, we got a, quite a while to go yet. So maybe get some coffee, good coffee for a change. Definitely quite a bit of shopping, perfumes, cosmetics, sunglasses, watches, you name it, they got it here. And as far as I can see, probably a couple of blocks here all along the gates. So, wow, uh, announcement in Chinese also. They want a lot of Chinese visitors here. Pretty nice airport, even though it's probably a little dated looking at the design but uh, I think the one in uh, Turkey is super super impressive this one is nice but still it looks a little bit dated already memories of Thailand taste of Thailand sense of Thailand touch of Thailand the Thai collection and little robot don't come towards me of course you got your Taco Bell your Burger King your pizza and Bonchon what else Oh, we also have uh, Dairy Queen and uh, Potato Corner. Well, definitely got uh, a good mix here. And that's what Thailand is. It's got everything. Cosmopolitan and, uh, and otherwise. Got them all. Those are your McDonald's stuff. I think the McFries here. This little guy is keeping everything clean, but he keeps coming towards me, keep chasing after me. And then this lady is also keeping things clean, so, and they meet, like two ships in the night. There it blows. Well, finally we broke down. We came to McDonald's, but not to eat. We are just going to get coffee. Looks like this is the most straightforward way to get coffee here and it takes no time so that's good and we just gotta go sit at our gate for an hour or so alrighty well Vietnam Airlines they actually give you some food and drinks so that's a plus Fancy food, but good enough for lunch. So, belt number eight, I believe, and it took about immigration took about 40 45 minutes. That's because we were able to jump into a line that was a little bit shorter, so that probably helped a lot. If not, it will be sh over an hour for sure. Now, we're looking for our luggage, supposed to be on eight. I don't really see it for that at the moment. So not sure. Gotta look, gotta hunt, gotta try and find it. Our two little itsy bitsy luggage. It's hidden somewhere. Well instead of belt eight I believe we are belt one. So it's all the way on the other end. So chances are our luggage will be waiting there and we'll be on our way although we're in no hurry because our Airbnb 
check-in will be about 2.30. So now it's about 1.45. It doesn't take that long to get there. So no need to hurry. Well, sure enough, our luggage is waiting there, lying on its side. And that one there also. So we are good to go. Still have to go through a little bit of a x-ray security for some reason and then after that we'll see this is about 2 15 and we are on a grab and what happened seems to be that uh, they moved the area so you can't pick up in front of the airport you have to be in the parking lot so the parking lot is now a fiasco and uh, cars going every which way you could we could go and then uh, the grab driver has to get off because there's no real pickup place just the parking lot so everybody's so confused well back to the soothing sounds of honking and motorbiking can't say I missed it but it doesn't bother me and it's kind of cool to see the motorbikes again out in full force. I mean, this is Vietnam, this is Saigon, and this is, I think, what's unique about it. <laughs> All right, after much trials and tribulation, we are in the apartment in Trezor, which is the apartment we want. Let's have a balcony overlooking the river, and uh, which is nice. Um, although it faces the afternoon sun, but uh, that's all right, we'll turn, turn up the AC. It has uh, two bedrooms. One bedroom with a view of, well, it's not just a wall, it's actually also this, of the river or the canal, I guess, which is nice. And then you have the other bedroom that is totally uh, with no view. Uh, bathroom. Bathroom. Very basic. But it has a nice and close shower, which is appreciated. Got a kitchen, got a, a induction stove with, uh, with an exhaust fan. So that's all we need. There was supposed to be a dining room table here, but there is no dining room table. I guess we'll just have to eat at the counter. Well, that's our apartment. Whoa. Does it work? I guess it works. Back in District 4, now we are on our way to dinner, check into our Airbnb, not quite up to our expectation, but we'll make the best out of it. I got some stuff to buy, got some stuff to ask them to uh, provide, like a table and some chairs, some patio chairs, and a new uh, saucepan and that kind of stuff. 
simple stuff. Hopefully, everything works out okay. And uh, give it a couple of days. We'll uh, pick up some other supplies and stuff. And then uh, everything should be back to a normal routine. We'll be here a total of 53 days, I believe, in that apartment. So basically, got to make the best best of it. Very interesting reading Vietnamese again after two weeks of reading Thai. Not that I can read Thai. I just know that it's Thai. <laughs> And, uh, but Vietnamese, I can read a little bit. So, it's uh, nice. And back into the throngs of the motorbikes. It, uh, it feels like, you know, strangely, it feels like home. It feels like I'm supposed to be here. It's like I'm coming back from Thailand. So, today we are going to eat Kom Tam and Kong Tam Kamet where we uh, we kind of took a liking to the semi street food sometimes you sit on the street on the outside sometimes you sit in a little shop but it's all little table little chairs and uh, might not be the cleanest environment but uh, we've had it several times no problem so hopefully that's the case Back to the throngs of the motorbikes. Everywhere you go. Ladies and gentlemen, grab drivers with little umbrellas for their uh, phones. And leather carrier, leg hangers. And a uh, little gold jack guy. Some people stop. Some people stop over there. And some people don't stop. So, the bus will provide a secure for us. And, uh, See how easy it is to cross a street in Vietnam? They will always stop for you. Because they are always watching out. Because nobody gives way to nobody, so everybody gives way to everybody. So we are so used to crossing in Vietnam. We feel it's so much safer to cross the street here than anywhere else. Alright, let's see if we can get a seat. I am in here, Jenny is outside, she's still trying to order I guess, so uh, here's a different place, this is a different place. Very simple. You have spoons and forks, two pigs, fish sauce, and chili. And then you have those uh, wet wipes. That's it. Almost forgot the bitter melon soup. Well, anyway, we always order one cup of cold iced tea. This is uh, basically flavorless, uh, cheap tea probably, and uh, boil and then put in ice. But that's the best thing. No high fructose corn syrup, no sugar, nothing. So if you look around where we are sitting. It's right next to a door that obviously they're not going to open because some stuff hanging on the wall 
Oh, two iced tea. And then there's a stairwell here for storage. And what's behind Jenny are more chairs just in case. And then there's a lot of buckets. And then uh, stairs lead up to the living quarter, I suppose. So Jenny is having beja. And then I am having beja. Everything. Beja. Seng. Uh, and Zheng. Zheng. Yep. And then we're gonna have bitter melon soup. So we'll have a lot of food to eat. And of course, DIY fish sauce. Got to have that. And here is our bitter melon soup along with a tag for, I guess, to note what we order. She must be relatively new here. And then you gotta kind of sneak out under the, the, the stairwell because it's kind of tight quarters here. The egg is perfect. Runny just the way I like it. What a good meal. Well, we are done. That was good. And uh, it's getting really crowded now. And uh, everybody's here. And getting a uh, carry out and stuff like that. So things have changed a little bit since we left. They don't open that other shop anymore. This is for, looks like uh, for lottery now. So they are two shops right next to each other. And I think uh, when it is available, they open the And they, uh, they have, uh, interesting, they have uh, uniform now. They are in this green uniform, which we've never seen before. So they've done some reorganizing things and uh, things seem to be a little bit different but it was still cheap. Our uh, bitter melon soup, two iced tea and two plates of rice was 130000 So I decided to walk out to where the canal is and uh, look at the hustle and bustle of traffic. That is our uh, towards the direction of our uh, apartment, and it just so busy, so nice. Washing only 12k, like 50 cents. I assume it's per kg. That's like uh, in. Uh, in Thai, it will be like uh, 20 baht per kg, but in reality, Thailand will be more than twice that. It will be more like 50 baht. So 50 baht will be a dollar fifty. So this will be three times or one third of what Thai charge. And this is a big shop too. It's not just some uh, somebody doing at the uh, as a side job. It's a real business. Wow, pet grooming. How do you like that? I didn't know they do that. Compressor service for your motorbike. You want some air, you just stop by. Don't have to carry your own compressor. That's a hotel there. Interesting. And this is Banchang. 
So it's like banjang salad, probably coffee, tea, and uh, soda and stuff like that. And Vietnam is full of these little side alleys. Someone having dinner. Yeah, lots to see here. You never run out of things to see. I never run out of things to describe. The Texco Tower or in the distance. We've never been up there. No real desire to go up there either. Because this is where the action is. Down here. Alright, Jenny want to come and look at this dog. Whoops. Such cute dogs. And then Jenny is like, oh. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Cute dog. Not cute. Well, we decided to take a detour to the co-op mart. Just call and grab, and uh, we're heading to the Comp Mart to pick up some essentials so that we can get back to life to normal as soon as possible. So, just hit some traffic well, lots of it. And going is a little slow. Stop, they go. And go. And go. That's why motorbikes are always faster. Hats and helmets. Well, we're inside the co-op mart and it feels like we're a little kid in a candy store and we want to buy <coughs> we want to buy everything but of course we can't buy everything so we'll have to but we, since we take a grab here we'll take a grab back therefore we will buy all the bulk stuff that we might need and, uh, and then the fresh food we will just buy at the traditional market tomorrow so even eggs, we probably will buy at that, those stores. We'll buy things like coffee and stuff like that. And you can see that there's beginning to be some... Uh, Lunar New Year for deck. Beginning to have some Lunar New Year sale and decoration. Year of the Dragon here. So now we want some coffee. Any man trying to get some help getting fragrance free uh, detergent. So, using her Vietnamese, we'll see if she get anywhere. Anyway, this is our loot. Uh, got lots of stuff. 
tissue and salt and sugar and oil and rice and scotch brine and cups and snacks and and coffee and even uh, the Vietnamese coffee dripping thing and uh, and the coffee of course and milk and uh, yogurt and yogurt drink fermented milk drink so oh and uh, the all important Listerine and soy sauce and peanut oil so that's a pretty good haul so of course we're gonna take a grab back and uh, there's no way we can lug this and walk all that distance. <laughs>